Welcome back to the Make Money Making Videos podcast. Um, other than events, what's some consistent, consistent jobs uh, that you found in videography? What's the most consistent areas, right? Um, if you're thinking, you're thinking, damn, m- maybe, maybe they're they're 15, 16 or something. Someone watching this, and they don't, you know, they they can't get into the club, and they don't have a fake ID or whatever yet, right? Um, what's something else? Gym they, promos. Gym promos, awesome. So gym personal promos. fitness, personal fitness. Yeah, because they're also they're they're always looking for intake. Yeah. Uh, January, you have people making New Year's resolutions on them being fit. So they're going to want loads of video content in that month, yep. or prior to that month, mm-hmm. to run as adverts online. Yep. Um, and then over the summer, they're going to need um, adverts because people are going on holiday. Yep. So they're going to keep, they're going to need to keep the members that they've already got. Mm-hmm. So they're going to need video content then because yep. um, they need to keep the ads running and keep it in their mind that people still need to be fit. Mm-hmm. And then obviously... At the end of summer, people's come up from people's come back from their holiday, probably put on a few stone, and they want to lose it. Yeah. There you go. There's your new work. There's your new. There's your new adverts there. Yeah. And, and and repeat done. Amazing. Um, and there's there's four or five stages there that you can um that that you can make regular income from, for example. And if like I said, you you think oh it's only what four times a year, but if you've got multiple gyms doing that, spread that money over the year, you'll sort it. 100% because there's different seasons um, there's different seasons and everything it literally works yeah exactly and it's like um, and some gyms have different intake like for example one of the gyms I do they do like um, like 12 week courses um, yeah. so they need videos every 12 weeks because the course restarts um, mm, and so doing stuff makes- with the programs going on inside the actual activity centers you've got like a big activity center and then they've got the gym in there and then they've also got courses classes going on so tap that into the individual exercise classes and stuff like that that's that's interesting actually yeah, yeah exactly and then um and then they do it so uh, and now i've done it so they go okay i need the, this video done yeah um for example and i go okay well i've already got the footage for that i back up all my footage on ev- every single bit of footage i've ever ever recorded yep. is on one of my is on my hard drive at home if that corrupts i swear i'm gonna cry i'm gonna jump out the window yeah yeah, but, yeah. <laughs> like um but ev- keep it keep it all that oh, is my number one advice. keep it all because you're never because you're never gonna you're never gonna know when a client comes back to you and goes oh um have you got that um have you got those clips from last year for example yep. I need you to remake a video. Well, then you've saved time because now you don't have to go and reshoot it. You've yeah. already got the clips done. Um, and I know a guy that's um, had happened. This happened once where, like, one of their parents has unfortunately like like passed away um, after that, like a year after their wedding, yeah. and they wanted a recut of their wedding video as like kind of a memory of them as well. Wow. Yeah, um, yeah. Imagine, imagine if you imagine if you just delete the footage from that. Right. Yeah. Hard um. It, you never know the situation, and like, and it's it could potentially lead to more money. So yeah. why not? It does. It doesn't really cost you anything. It costs you what 150, 200 pounds for a big eight terabyte hard drive yeah. that stays on your shelf. Um. And that 150 to 200 pound could make you a lot more than that. Yeah. But just in the footage. A hundred percent. And also just from a documentation standpoint, you know, just in the future, you, you don't know what stuff you want to look back on and what stuff you want to, you know, turn into a, a show reel maybe at the end of the year. You know, you, you want all those clips and you want like the raw version. You don't want to be fucking going through projects that are, you know, rendered, chopping out the clip that you want, stuff like that, man. That's a that's a nightmare. But um <laughs>